hi everyone the protocol we are discussing in this video is again one of the protocols in the random access category that is CSMA with collision detection we have already discussed CMA that is career sense multiple access in which it senses the medium to find its idle or not so what happens in this collision detection protocol is that when a station when a station is sending data it continuously monitors if the if transmission was successful was successful or an error has occurred if there is error it resends the data So say this is A, B, C, D and A is sending data if say at this time collision occurs it detects then it again sends data it wants to send to D so what happens in this is that the time it takes to send should be at least must be 2 into tp that is twice of propagation time as the station is sending it should detect the error error should be detected before it sends the last bit because once the last bit is sent it doesn't keep any copy of the frame and move on with the next frame so before it's last before it sends the last bit so yeah it has slowed down its process so in the worst case scenario it will be 2p as it will take time to reach here it will be TP and to get that information that a co that the collision will has occurred will again take TP time so what's the procedure in this protocol is it sends using a persistence method we have discussed persistent method in the previous video then it constantly monitor monitor while sending frame and it sends a short jamming signal to notify that a collision has occurred so how the station monitors that a collision has occurred is due to the energy levels energy levels of the channel So say the energy level of the channel is zero when a station has successfully captured a channel and is sending its frame. No, no, no. That's when yeah. Zero means simply the channel is idle, and normal means when a single station has found it 
idle and is sending the frame that is when a single signal station is sending a frame single station and the last one is abnormal that is during collision so it will be twice of normal as two signals will be colliding so yeah if abnormal energy is detected so the station will get to know that a collision has occurred the throughput of this protocol is is for one persistent method it will be 50% when g equals to 1 and for non persistent method it is 90% when g varies from 3 to 8 the throughput is very much better than that of the aloha and slotted aloha so this is the CSMA with collision detection the next one will be CSMA with collision avoidance so see you next time